some stats from yesterday which is going to help you lead into the next couple of days. We had, um, I think, 40 of 49 anglers there about to catch fish. It's fishing very, very well. We had 111 fish brought to the Waymaster, 63 kilos. The average fish, and this is going to be interesting coming in tomorrow, is 0 0.570 of a kilo. So you're looking at a decent sized brim out of the basin. And the first angler up is going to be John Chen from the ACT. Only one fish yesterday, but we had a bit of a talk. He's got three today, and that's what we want to see. How are you, sir? That's better. Oh, much better. Boy, what happened there? I decided to stay in one place instead of move around. All right. You need 2.07 kilos to take the lead. Big Brim is Grant Hawking from 1.04 kilos. By the way, that's sponsored by Atomic and 250. This is a cracking bag on day number two. 2.33 kilos, a new leader on day one. We asked yesterday a lot about stuff. I'm not... A lot of people talked about it. Where'd you fish and what'd you catch them on? Um, pretty much fished edges and um, pretty much used my power pole to stay in position and cast to certain areas. Certain areas. All right. We'll get more information tomorrow. Did you <laughs> want to weigh one of these for Big Brim? Um, no, thanks. There you go. Well done. Put your hands together. New leader on day two here at the Australian Championships at St. George's Bases, south coast of New South Wales. Corey Gallagher was sitting in 10th place, a very respectable bag yesterday. Three fish for 1.86. He only needs 0.93. Scoring is showing three. A little yeah, low. I don't think I have as much as I had yesterday. So <clears throat> <sighs> This is going to be a tough, tough championship. Very, very tight. There is so much talent that it, you're looking at here. You're definitely going to take the lead. That's an easy one. 1.56 kilo puts you into first. A new leader. Come on. Let's congratulate these guys. Thank you. After 11 rounds, the season is wrapping things up, and someone's going to go home the Australian champion. Chris Miller from South Australia. So far, he's in the run for the Totally Immersed Water Sports Heavy Polarized Prize for the most social media post. Nice bag yesterday. You had 2.06. Yeah, I did. I did. Um, had that. I didn't get rid of the 26 in there, so it hurt me a little bit, but All right. got three. So. You need 1.37. You're currently in sixth place. Close. And the monitor just went out again. Jim, can you, there you go. And it was 1.48. Put your hands together. Well done. It just went out again. Thank you. Thank you. There you go. That's better. Perfect. Don't do that to me. Keep Chris, keep everyone out of there. Totally away from Jim Barry. Thank you. Giving me heart attacks. <clears throat> All right. Where are we at? Gary Hansen. Good bag yesterday. 1.95. You need 1.60. Have you got that? No. No. Are you sure? No. You're not sure. Okay. Could this be another leader? Everyone who's come up has had a big bag. We're not staging these people. You need 1.60 to take the lead. Ooh, 1.53. Second place, you've got to be happy that one on day number okay. two. Yep. Awesome. Well done. done. Very good. Nice hat, Mark. Very nice hat. Dale Baxter's neck. He's broken the jinx of the donuts. Good bag yesterday at 1.53. Do you have over two kilos for me? Uh, I'm not sure. Ooh, Maybe. 2.02 .02 kilos. This is going to be close. Currently in 22nd place. 2.02. 1.86. Fourth place. That's a good position on day two. Look how many people will be in line there. That's an amazing one. You want to weigh one for Big yeah, Brand? I'll give it a go. I take the mic. You take the bag. Chasing 1.04. Now remember, every day is a new Big Brim sponsored by Frogley's Offshore and Atomic. It's $250. We need to keep remembering that. I always forget. So you're in first place already. How about that? It's up to them to get ahead of you. Big Brim on day two, 0.85. That's $250 worth of brim right there. Well done, mighty. Now, all these fish are released back into the water, and we have a place called the Lawrence Release Area, and we've staged some boats around there so the fish can actually hide in the shadows um, while they're released, and then we actually walk the boats out into the deeper water, so we really look after them. Mark Young, okay bag yesterday. There goes the monitor. There, back on again. How are you, sir? Good. Get rid of some of this water. We Ooh. found you today. We thought you'd have a good spot again. When did you get this second one? Um, same spot. Same spot. Here we go. Two fish.
fish for 0.61. Well done, Matty. Tenth place. Not too shabby. <clears throat> John Clisby. Light bag yesterday at 1.04. You need a massive bag today. You need 2.51. Do you have that? No. No. It's not better, bad. better fish than yesterday. Yesterday, you need a little bit more. Yesterday, I was at the nursery. Okay. We're getting better. It's a good bag. Going to be at 1.780 kilos. Put you into fifth place for now. Beautiful. Well done. Thank Did you, you want to weigh one for Big Brim? No. Okay. Well done. Dale Baxter is holding on that position in the uh, Big Brim on day number two from sponsored by Atomic. Brian Hunt, one yesterday, two today. Hopefully three tomorrow. You're still in there. You just need some big fish. That's it. Hopefully three tomorrow. You get a snapper or two and then put an Artline 90 pin on them and see what happens. All right. Much better day. You've increased by 100%. 1.25 kilos. Well done, Marty. Thank Thanks. you very much. Great to see Brian down here. All of our shirts say Bim River. Unfortunately, due to the fires, we weren't able to attend this year. We brought it back up here. Brett Crow, none yesterday. He's got one today. How are you, sir? Yeah, well, thanks. Riveted? Yeah, man. <laughs> All right. We'll get this. Put you out of your misery. Point four three. Well done, Matty. Three tomorrow. I know it. Chris Miller is leading at 3.54 kilos. Gary Hansen is in second. And... Corey Gallagher is in third place. Tom McLean, three yesterday, three today. Consistency. Yeah, it's good to see. Chubbies? Uh, not today, sadly. No. That's probably oh, why I've got a small one. <laughs> <laughs> you always throw chubbies. All right, here we go. You need 1.80 to take the lead. 1.65 puts you up into fourth place on day number two of the championships. Not too shabby there. Well done. Colin DiMatina, one yesterday. It's good fish, 0.85, above the average. The average is 5.70. Three today. You went somewhere different, didn't you? Yeah, completely different. Completely different? That's much better. Much better, yeah. All right, I'm not even going to ask you where you went and what you caught because that would be fruitless. Here we go. You need 2.7. That's not going to happen, but still a cracking bag. 1.81, currently in eighth place. That you puts you back in the hunt. Are you 17 now or still 16? 17. 17. Youngest competitor we've had in a long time. Made the Australian Championships last year at the age of 16. Richard Summerton, two-time Australian champion. There's only been another one person to do that, Daryl Brand. OK bag yesterday, 1.49. Better. Better bag today. Better. Better. Did you go far? Little, yeah, I'm a little bit over the wind. Uh, I know, especially down where you went oh. today. There goes the monitor. Oh, That's better. Oh, there oh. it goes again. I have. Nope. Yep. Now we'll try it. There we go. 2.20. Not too shabby. Better. First place. Well done, Richard. You want to weigh one for Big Brim? Uh, what's big? Um, 0.85. Yeah, whack, one. whack one in here. $250 decision. All right, I'll weigh it and read the scale there rather than the monitor. 0.85 is what you need to beat. He's done it. Big brim of the day, Atomic so far. 0.93. Well done, Matty. Perfect. Ow! <laughs> That's why I don't do that. <laughs> no. Yeah, now it is. Sean Hill, come on up. We weren't. It's all right. One yesterday. How many today? Need to put fish weight in as one. There goes the monitor again. Thank you. One again. One again. All right. One fish. Going to come in at 3.9. Well done. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Better luck tomorrow. It's smoking hot up here. I can just tell you that right now. Fred Fraser from Western Australia. First time, I believe, over here. I'm not sure. Two yesterday. Three today. You're making your way around the waterway now. Yeah, yeah one better than yesterday. It's That's okay. Not too bad. Probably about the same sort of weight, though. That's okay. Have you got a game plan for day number three? No, no idea. No idea. All right. Just wing it. Wing it. 1.53 kilos puts you up into eighth place, so that's not too shabby. My bet anyone in the top 15 to 18 can win. 
and anyone about that top 22 and up um, can get on the podium. Kevin Vardy, great bag yesterday. Three fish for 1.84, only two today. They yeah, didn't play a, the game? Had a disaster today. Did you? Yeah. Uh-oh. All right. Two fish. Still, you had a good bag, yes. It's going to help you. Point eight T still puts you into 10th place. Yeah, thanks, Steve. That's all right. You can see with the average fish of 5.70 what that one fish means. Malcolm Halliday is next. Small bag yesterday, only 1.14 two fish. You got three today. Yeah. That, that's better. I pretty much caught everything I hooked today. So. That's much that's, better. What did you do different? That's fishing. I uh, just committed to me spot today, stayed there. All right. You're not going to take the lead, but that is a very good bag. 1.81 kilos, seventh place on day number two of the championships. Awesome. Aaron Williams, good bag yesterday. Three for 189. Needs 181 to take the lead. No, 17165. Get rid of the water, sorry. And there goes the monitor. Oh, there we go, boat. I'm back again. Needs 181, and it comes in at 151. Puts you into fifth place. Still not bad on day number two. Awesome. Jason. Yes. Three yesterday, one today. What happened? Uh, the wheels fell off today. All right. What do you get going for tomorrow? I'll have to try something totally different. A new set of wheels? Yep. Mags? I think so. Mags? All right. 0.35 kilos. Thank you. Thank awesome. You. Stephen Pryke is next. Three fish for 1.48 yesterday. Three today. It needs 2.22 to take the lead. No way. No. He got three though. Very consistent. I reckon it's going to be very close to today, yesterday's bag. Consistency is good. Stephen Pryke is going to come in at 1.33 kilos. Well done, matey. Right, thank awesome. you. Awesome. A lot of bags coming through, which is good to see. Mitchell Madison, we saw him this morning uh, in a several places. Won't give it away. Um, had one fish at one stage, and we saw him at two, and only two again today. How are you, sir? Good. That one fish is oh, going to hurt. A lot of miles for But two. you can still get on the podium. Without question, he just needs a cracker bag tomorrow, which is possible. 1.19 puts you in ninth place. Oh, that one fish. Nightmares. Awesome. Richard Summerton from Victoria, twice Australian champion. The one prior to that would be uh, Darren, uh, uh, Daniel Brown from the Foster uh, Taree area. He's the only other person who's won this twice. Chris Hickson, come on down. Good bag yesterday. He was sitting in third place at 2.08 kilos. He only needs 1.62 to take the lead. Currently in 18th place. How are you, sir? Not too bad, mate. That's it was, uh, a little bit better, better day than yesterday. I caught a few more fish. It was still, um, still definitely a grind. It was a struggle, but didn't move too far. Didn't waste too much time and just fished. Did you get them all day or did you get them early? Did you upgrade? What was your day like? I got them through the day. There was one patch after about uh, 10, 30, 11. I reckon I went two hours without a fish. A couple of bites, but yeah, nothing for the first sort of half an hour. Then I, I got onto a flat that had, there was a fair few fish there, but a lot of small fish. And I just thought that'll do. I'm going to get a bag and then I'm just going to keep chipping away for the rest of the day. Game plan for tomorrow still? Not quite sure that's ugly. The, um, the spot I was on is definitely better in a nor'easter. And I haven't fished here much in Southerly, so I'll see what happens. All right. He only needs 1.62 to take the lead. That's an easy one. 2.37 kilos. Make some noise, a new leader. We're going to weigh one for Big Brim? Nah, they're all about the same. They're all about the same? You only need to beat uh, 0.93? No. Okay. Well done. Cheers, Come mate. on. Make some noise. New leader of the day. Championship day number two, Chris Hickson. Well done. The bags are waiting up. 4.45 kilos for six fish. Richard Summerton from Victoria, former Australian champion um, at 3.69. And Chris Miller from South Australia at 3.5 kilos. Kobe Rothwell won yesterday, disappointed. Three today. you got to be happy with that. Yeah, it's a bit better. It's better did, than mine. Did you catch fish all day? Uh, yeah. Yeah, pretty well. I got one real small one in the morning um, and then got them just throughout the day and upgraded. Where'd you go fishing today? Whereabouts? Uh, in the water. In the water today. All right. 
I tried. Everyone's keeping it close to their chest. 1.70, push you into 18th. Big jump. There goes the monitor. There he is back. Hello. Thank you. Super glue. All right. The line. Are you guys still on the line? Okay. Wow. I think only four people did not come to the way mess yesterday. It shows you how good this basin is fishing. James Kilpatrick, leader on day number one. How are you, sir? Uh, better now. I have three fish, but not as good as yesterday. You need 1.95 to take the lead. Not going to happen. Where does he fall? How far does the elevator go down? All right. What floor are we on? Here we go. Not a bad bag. A Barrett Light 1.19, second place. Thank you. With about 20 behind you. See how we go, mate. Well done. Adriana Tossolini, three yesterday, 1.51. You need about a three kilo bag, just saying. All right? Yeah. And yeah, it's it's might, it might come a uh, few grams short. If I put my yeah. shoe inside of there, <laughs> it might lift the weight. But yeah. no, it's not a bad bag. It's very similar to yesterday. It's, yeah, a bit under, I think. Yep. Not very close. 1.47, not too bad. Still the top 10 going into day Thank number you. two. Well done. Paul Davison is next. Three fish for 1.58. Three again. Very consistent. Good to see Paul here at the Australian Championships from Victoria. How are you, sir? Paul's happy to be here. I know it. Not bad. Yeah, it was about Not a, bad. I started off with 26 centimetre fish and then upgraded to those. So Not bad at all. We saw you in a few places today. Good yeah, so bag it, of fish. It was getting a little bit worrying. I had no fish by 10 to 12. That's it. <laughs> Two kilos. 2.06. Oh, fourth place. you got to be happy with that. Very happy. Puts him in the money and running. Well done. Chris is still leading at 4.45. And um, James is hanging at 3.70. Byron Hill. He was also in contention of the donut does, and I'm not really sure what to say about this. What's going on? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> uh, I wish this wasn't a children's program right now. I no, can say a few words. Well, Francis will be in this tomorrow since he got a donut yesterday as well. Oh, so. it's the donut head. Yeah. All right, here we go. You need four and a half kilos to take the lead. I it's 164. 1.64, 31st place. You need a big day tomorrow. You're looking awful at Maddie's going to love you. One in the crowd, isn't there? Someone call security. It's the ho someone's left the paddock. Carl Dubois, only two yesterday. Three today. Boom. Nice bag. Good day today. Why do you always do this? You well, come up the next day. day I don't. It's, uh... Mate. That's a cracker of a it's fish. It's a good bag. A, yeah, I was very pleased today. <sighs> you need 3.37 kilos. I tell you what. No. It's not, but I tell you, this is a awesome St. George's Basin bag. What a nice fish. 2.95 kilos in a second. The average weight's 570. You add that to your score of yesterday. Yeah. We're going to weigh one for Big Bram? Yeah. yeah. You sure? Yeah, possibly. Okay, you know the deal? Yes, I know. The What's the deal? You don't touch the fish. I don't touch fish. I used to. Doesn't matter. You're only chasing 0 0.93. And then we're going to hold it up to the camera. Ooh, I don't know. You reckon? Okay. Yeah, I think so. Ooh. Is this bad? We're, it, it's so close. All right. Anyway, you only need 0 0.93 to tie or bubble. 1.06. Happy with that? Congratulations on the Atomic Big Brim so far. They're going to try to knock you off. If you can do me a favor and you pull out the bag, just hold up to some of the guys there. There's a lot of guys in Europe and North America who do stay up late watching you guys. And they can see what we fish for in this continent. Well done, Carl. What a cracker of a second bag, that one, on day number two. Tony Petty. We left him alone today. Three yesterday for 1.66. We had... Lined up to do some interviews, but I don't like to bug people when they got fish. We left you alone. Yeah, tough day. You got a big day tomorrow to oh, do. Oh, I do. A big day. Do you have a good game plan? Now that you've been here two days? I think I might break down and just blade out the front. It seems to work for other people. I have a few of those you can borrow. <laughs> they work really well. Two fish at 1.19 kilos. You're in 15th. That's, that's okay. It's okay. It's close. Francis D. Matina. 
none yesterday. He was also in the running for the donut dough. Two today. It's good, be, good to be up here to be able to say hello to you. I know it. Yeah. It is good. How are you? Good, thanks. We got a good little chat yesterday about a father-son combination. It's great to see it just, there you go. Two fish are going to come in at 0.84 a kilo. Well done. Glad you're on stage. Thank you. And you're not in the running for the donut dough. I like that. Great story we had on Facebook, father and son combination, enjoyed fishing, saw the kayaks, got in there, and they've been fishing ever since. Got his son into it. His son was 16 when he qualified for his first Australian Championships, uh, and he's done very well since then. Glenn Allen, three yesterday, good bag, 2.06, just outside the top three or four. My friend is fourth place. You need 2.4 kilos to take the lead. No. Nope, but I tell you what, that's a little bit lighter than yesterday, I think. All right, Clint Allen, he needs a good bag here. 1.71 puts him into third place. That's okay That's going into the last day. Thank you. Well done. Awesome. <coughs> Brendan, come on down. Good bag yesterday, three fish for 1.75. One today, I was going to say you said 2.71 you take, then I saw the one fish. Didn't happen. I don't think it's going to cut it. Didn't happen, <laughs> did it? All right, well, tomorrow is another day. Tomorrow is another day entirely. 0.45. Didn't expect it. Thanks, mate. That's right. Thank you. Awesome. There goes that monitor. Okay. Zachary Morozov, we saw him today, did a Facebook Live. Oh, only one yesterday. Um, you need one. I have no idea. We'll just weigh the fish. There we go. Three fish are going to come in at 1.73 kilos, puts you up into 23rd place. Well Thank done, you. matey. Thank you. We got VGA cable for tomorrow. Okay, perfect. Luke Rogan. Two yesterday. A little bit disappointing. Three today. I hope you've got a three and a half kilo bag. No. No. It's better than yesterday, though. So. What's your game plan for day three? Well... I seem to find them towards the end there, so hope I don't know. The wind's going to be completely different today, so <laughs> it'll be. To me, it's the barometer and what happens to the fishery yep. of how much that fluctuation is. 1.48 kilos. Sweet. You need a big day tomorrow, but that's good. We do have a suddenly expected uh, between 2 a.m. and 5 a.m. They say it's only coming through about five or six knots. I've never seen a suddenly come through on the south coast at five knots ever. We'll see what happens. Paul Burton from Western Australia, two yesterday, a former Australian champion. Three today, much better to see. Slightly, Slightly better. <laughs> you slowly working it out? Oh, kind of, yeah. You're, you've it's only got one more day left. I've got a bit of sightseeing tomorrow, I think. No, that's all right. Three fish come in at 1.17 kilos. Awesome, mate. Well Thanks. done. Thanks, mate. Still people in the line at the bump tub waiting. Shows the uh, nature and the healthiness of this uh, particular fishery. Due to the fires, we didn't have a lot of recreational pressure. Usually the, the town in fluctuates, you know, 10 to 12,000 people this time of year during that Christmas break. Joseph, you've done something completely different than yesterday. I got three. And that's not a bad bag. <laughs> wow. Right. From donut dough to three decent fish. Well done. Those three fish are going to come in at 1.89 kilos. Awesome. Not bad, mate. <laughs> Zero to hero in one day. Awesome. Greg Cooper. Okay, bag yesterday. 1.42 kilos. Three again today. Good. Very consistent from Western Australia. That's okay. I don't think it's similar to yesterday. It might be. It's close. If anything, I'd say it's 1.38. No, I'm way off. 1.53, 14th place. You're still in the running for this. You need three good fish tomorrow, though. Well done, Greg from Western Australia. New South Wales has taken out the top four. Victoria, fifth and sixth. Seventh place is South Australia. Uh, eighth and ninth, Victoria. And the rest right now in the top 11 are New South Wales. Grant Hawking, cracker bag yesterday. And uh, also got big brim yesterday. 1.04 kilos. It got you 250 bucks. Good fish today, mate. Yeah, yeah. Uh Pretty happy to get three, actually. Three bites, three fish. Three bites, three, three fish. fish. That's all that matters, doesn't it? Three casts, three fish. How easy is it? Pretty simple, yeah. Then you have cappuccino. Three fish come at 1.90. Puts you into third place. 
<laughs> hey, got to be happy with that. My, my way, I mean, he's not. Yeah, yeah, no, you take the bag. I'll take this. You're only chasing uh, 0.94 of a kilo. Very golden fish. I know where you got those at. And it's to the south of here. Yeah. I can tell by the color. 0.84, dollar short. That's all right, good fish regardless. Awesome. Ian Abercrombie is next. Didn't see him on stage yesterday. Good to see him on stage. Shy. All right, well, I'm glad you got over that part. Now you can catch fish. Now, tomorrow I want to see a three-kilo bag. How are you, sir? I'm very good, thanks. You made the journey across? Yeah, made the journey with the boys. That's all right. And what do you think about our waterway here? Very different. It's very different than uh, the Western Australia. Blacks to yellows is predominantly. 0.64. Well done, matey. Start. Done. Thank you. On the scoreboard. Not in the running for the donut dough. From how many bags we got left, Matty? Three or four. Three or four more bags. I tell you what, most everyone I know has gotten fish today. That's good. Nathan Wright, only two yesterday, got three today. That's better. Big improvement. There looks some nice fish in there. Yeah, a bit better today. That's a lot better. What would you do different? Just new area. New area? Yep. Change your lures? No, same lure. Same lures. All right. Let's see where this lands you. Three nice brim from St. George's Basin. 2.02 kilo. That would have put you in the top five yesterday. Yep. Well done, mate. Do you want to weigh one for big brim? Nah. Okay. Awesome. Chris is still hanging there. We've got quite a few guys left in there. I think four to six more guys. Stuart Walker. Okay, bag yesterday. Three for 1.40. Only two today, but you got fish on both days. How are you, sir? Not too bad. That's all right. Been better with the third one in there. Oh, that's a nice two fish. One of them's all right, yeah. That's okay. Well, considering they're 570 grams on average, that would have been a nice bag with three. Not too shabby. 1.58 for two. That's not Could bad. I, uh, try one for. Of uh, course you room? can. I'll take the mic. You grab the fish. You're chasing 0.94 or better. Do we have a new Atomic Big Brim for $250? Yes, 1.08. Come on. It's $250 worth of brim. Well done, matey. Excellent. There you go. Very nice. Get some photos of that with Bradley Sissons from the uh, media department at Hobie, Asia Pacific. Kane Terry had a cracker bag yesterday, 1.88. And I believe he said he got those by, I think, 7.15 or 7.20 in the morning when we started at 6.12. Did it start similar to that today or different no, again? No. You had to work a little bit harder? Yep. That is a nice bag of fish. You need 2.58 kilos to take the lead. Currently in 35th place. Come in at 2.23, second place. Well done. Did you want to weigh this for Big Brim? No? Excellent. Moved him straight up there. Good, consistent two days of fishing there. Andrew Hancock. Okay, bag yesterday, three yesterday for 1.56. We saw shortly today, he had a big fish, you had it in your lap, you're ready to put it in the tank, and then... See you later. Uh, see you later. The fish <laughs> said, see you later. That hurt. Right? Eh? No. That's all right. You got three, you're consistent, three on every single day. That's the cool part. 1.29 kilos. Thanks, Mike. Well done, ladies. Thank you. That was one of those oh gosh moments when the fish drops over the side. Jack Gammy. We pulled up to him, doing an interview, bang, on a fish. The next media boat pulls up, bang, gets a fish. Needs 2.75 kilos to take the lead. That's not happening. It's not happening, but you got three fish. Yes. You need to be in the hunt on day number three. Have you got a game plan for tomorrow? Yeah. Perfect. He knows what he's going to do on this subtly coming through. 1.71, exactly as yesterday, 12th place. You're still in this. You know the gill. Perfect. Well done. Jack ended up in third place in the Australian Hobby Fishing World Championships that were held in the Gold Coast of Australia this year. Simon Morley was also in that same school. Simon, I believe, got second this year in it. Three. You did get three. Our reports on the water were saying... Just three. <laughs> we saw, I said, let's go talk to Simon. And someone said, don't go talk to Simon. <laughs> right. All right. Notes of stove. Don't go talk to Simon. All right. Three fish. It's going to bump you up. You're going to need it. 1.57. Yeah. 
Ooh, you need some big fish. To, some snapper with a, a, a brim wrap on it tomorrow. Vinyl wrap. Not too shabby.